found in the choke of a lawnmower, the handbrakes of a bike, and even the rudder controls of an airplane, push-pull cable assemblies are more common than you might think. Hi, welcome back to Saba's FAQ series. I'm Melissa Kelton, and today we're talking about the three fundamental components of a push-pull cable assembly. The first component is core cable. The diameter and construction of the core cable determine the assembly's load capacity. Solid core wire, the simplest type, is often used in applications requiring minimal bending. One benefit of solid core wire is the ease of creating simple end terminations. While we will discuss cable end fittings in greater detail later, it's important to note that these terminations can be made by forming the wire into common shapes. These shapes include a centered loop, an offset loop, an L-bend, a U-bend, and a Z-bend. For more complex routes that demand flexibility, a stranded cable is recommended. Stranded cables are more flexible than solid core wire, making it easier to navigate through the conduits and allowing the assembly to accommodate tighter bend radii. Once you've selected the core cable, the conduit plays an essential role by guiding the cable along its path. This system is rooted in the principle that motion always seeks the path of least resistance. This is important in applications like handbrakes on a bike. The cable's conduit ensures smooth movement without the need for mechanical support. Additionally, the conduit protects the cable from external damages. At Sava, we offer four common push-pull cable conduits. An outermost HDPE or PVC coating, followed by a spiral-wound galvanized steel jacket, and an innermost HDPE or PVC liner, an outermost galvanized steel jacket with an innermost HDPE or PVC liner, a galvanized steel conduit without any HDPE coatings, and lastly, a nylon conduit. Once the core cable and the conduit for your push-pull cable assembly have been selected, the final component to add is a cable fitting. Cable fittings are mechanical components that are either pressed or swaged onto the cable, allowing the assembly to connect to mating parts or be integrated into a larger motion control system. While solid core wire can be formed into the previously mentioned shapes, cable fittings are also an option and are necessary if the push-pull cable assembly uses a stranded cable as its core. These fittings include ball fittings, eyelets, ball end plugs, threaded plugs, and loop sleeves. For many applications, simply clamping the casing close to the end of the control is acceptable. However, casing fittings can also be applied directly to the ends. Special fittings designed for this purpose include cap terminals, groove terminals, bulkhead terminals, clamp terminals, and wire clamps. For a complete list of our products, Go to SavaCable.com, leave any ideas or questions in the comment section. You can find us all over social media. And remember, Sava has a full machining department that can custom manufacture just about anything. Need something you can't find? Let us know how we can help. Thanks!